You told us a really cool story kind of before we before we got going with the with the podcast today. The, uh, the outlaw version? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, about how you got your CDL license. Uh, would you share that with us and the audience? Because I think it's fantastic. Only because the statute of limitations have run out. <laughs> you don't have to say any names, but if you do want to give a shout out, it's okay. <laughs> well, like... Uh, my younger brother, my much younger, much handsomer brother, <laughs> John, was a director producer of corporate meeting shows nationwide. And he calls me up one day and he says, he asked me if I had a CDL. And I said, no, I don't. And he said, well, you need to get one because this is on a Thursday afternoon. Because I need a truck on the road, a 53-footer, from Phoenix to Orlando on Tuesday morning. So go down Tucson and get your CDL and get up here Tuesday morning. So I said, well, you can't get a CDL, you know, that soon. He says, yeah, yeah, you can. He says, you can get anything if you throw enough money at it. So, you know, adios, get, <laughs> what are you doing standing around talking to me? Get, get, get your going. ass going. You know? So I said, okay. So I go down to DMV and I get a booklet. And the book was telling me that I needed to get a physical. I needed to pass preliminary test to get a permit and then once I get a permit I could go to a school and I could get my training so I go to the clinic there in my hometown in San Manuel and I go in as a walk-in to see the doctor for the physical in the meantime I'm reading this this CDL book on how to drive a big rig so I get my physical done I go back to the DMV I take my test I pass my test, so then Friday morning I go down to Tucson to this school, and I talk to the manager, and I says, I need to get a driver's license by Monday night. It's Tuesday, <laughs> I got to be on the road, you know. He says, well, you, you got to go through a four-week course. And I said, well, I laid a $100 bill on his desk. Are you sure I got to go? I said, you sure it's got four, four weeks? <laughs> He said, well, it, it could be a little bit shorter than four weeks. You know, it, let me think about it. So I put another $100 down. <laughs> said, yeah, you're working on it, you know. So passing that test? <laughs> Excuse me? Closer. Passing the test? <laughs> yeah, pass, passing the test, yeah. So anyway, got up to $650. <laughs> and the $50 was for the test. The other, six, the other $600 went, went to his pocket. <laughs> So that's a Friday. So Friday evening, I get on this truck, and there's like 12 people in this little, uh, I think it was a, a freight liner, an old freight liner donated by Warner, you know, <laughs> to this company. It had like 850,000 miles on it, falling <laughs> apart as you're battling going down the road. And I got about 10 minutes of driving on that before the next guy got in. I said, well, that ain't going to do it. I said, I need to live on more than that. <laughs> so this trainer says, well, he says, I'll bring a truck up, and we can drive it on Saturday. And he said, it'll cost you 100 bucks." <laughs> I said, okay, well, here's 100 bucks for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> <So> <clears throat> he goes up to my small town in San Manuel, which is a small community. It was built in the 1950s. But it's got tight corners. It's got, you know small streets. So we spent about three hours driving around town, and I drove up to Oracle, which is 13 miles away, and then back down to San Well. I said, okay, I got it. That's, that's good enough for me. So he said, okay, well, come in Monday, and we'll give you your test. So I go down there Monday, and he's riding on my, on my front porch, and we're, he's telling me how to back up, doing the serotonin, and and doing the 45. And during, during the test. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fantastic. Test. <laughs> so I, I give another 50 bucks for doing that, you know, and just <laughs> keep it going. So then he, they're able to give me the, the driver's test. I just, get he to, signed off on right me, there. go down to DMV, they give me my license, and I'm good to go until I get to Mississippi. Tuesday morning, I left Tuesday morning, I get down there in Mississippi, like on a Thursday, and I'm tired. I mean, I'm, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm beat. 
They've been driving for like three days straight. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> right? You know, 50, 55 in Texas takes you two two days to get through. <laughs> Those really cool yellow jacket pills or whatever that you take at the truckers truck stop. Love no, it. no, I never did that guy. Okay, no, I never stayed away from that. All natural. Yeah, just coffee. Right. Sorry, okay, all right. <laughs> So I get down to Mississippi, and I run into this old timer, and he's looking at me, and he's the man driver. He says, you look beat. <laughs> he says, tell me about it, you know. He says, what's going on? So he says, come on and join me. He'd been on the road for 40, for 40 years, this old guy. So I told him a story. He goes, well, hell, you he ain't wrecked yet. He must be doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what's your logbook look like? I said, what logbook? What is that? What do you mean, what logbook? You're not running a logbook? I said, hell, I don't know what a logbook is. <laughs> you know, I saw it mentioned somewhere down in the book. But. That 650 didn't cover logbook training? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> says, well, go on there and get a couple logbooks, and I'll, I'll fix them up for you. A couple? <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you got a doctor in case you make mistakes. You got to have another one ready to go. Yeah. You always had to have a backup. Right. You know? <laughs> so this old timer, he, uh, he takes my logbook, and he... What time did you leave? And he he does the man. So he gets me right into Moss Point where I was at. And uh, so then he says, how, you, how about the waste stations? How you been going through there? I said, what waste stations? <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, I just passed those things. <laughs> <laughs> He's just learning as he goes. <laughs> he says, no, no, Robbie, says, you got to go in there and, and go in there. I said, what for? For they can weigh you. I said, well, I know how much I weigh. <laughs> You know, 180 pounds, like it or not. <laughs> no, no, no. So he tells me how to do that, and he takes all the fun out of life, I tell you that. <laughs> Driving wasn't as fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching that clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more clips like that, please click here. Or if you'd like to check out a full episode, click here. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube.